Hi and hello guys. So today what I have here with me is an, a very interesting project which I would like to share with you all. So I'm wondering whether you, you people thought about uh, having a remote control for uh, Google Cast devices. So when I say Google Cast, it would include uh, the Google Home as well as the uh, Chromecast. So today in this video, uh, we'll see as to how you can build your own remote for Google Cast devices. So the light here has turned on and this indicates that a uh, Cast device is online. So with these five buttons, you can pause, play, stop, reduce volume and increase volume. These are the basic things that you need for controlling the cast. So right now the volume is set to oh, ultimate low on uh, the home mini. So let me just uh, increase the volume. So as you can see, uh, the volume is increasing. So, so that is the volume control and this is the pause. It's paused and now oh, you can play it back. So as it is, uh, basically I have programmed uh, to control uh, two devices. So that is the limitations with the number of buttons that we have. So maximum you can control uh, two devices. And for this particular device, the indicator LED has been uh, set to blue. And if you connect another Chromecast, the indicator LED will uh, change color to indicate that there are multiple devices online. And similarly, if this uh, home mini goes offline and if you have a Chromecast online, you will have a different uh, colored LED. So one thing uh, which I would like to point out is uh, this is not actively monitoring the device status. So I'm using a Pi Chromecast uh, API and what actually happens is if you include uh, the active monitoring that will you will have some delay uh, for the device to respond to your button press. So this is I have not included active uh, device monitoring. So whenever you connect or disconnect your devices, you might have to uh, restart the service. So I have also set this program to run as service on boot. So whenever you connect or disconnect the device, it is advisable to restart the service. So let me connect the Chromecast and restart the service. So right now uh, my Chromecast has come online and that is why you can see a change in color of this indicator. So right now I have cast uh, one of MicMake's uh, videos onto the Chromecast and so in order to switch between the two devices, so previously, if you can recall, we were controlling the mini uh, home mini with this. So if you want to switch between the devices, just press and hold the A button or the pause button. And after that, you can start controlling your second device. So this, this will switch between the devices. Now you can pause it, play the video and even control the volume. This is volume increase button now. Okay, so that is it. That is how you can make, uh, that is how you can control your cast devices with your own uh, remote using uh, the button shim and Raspberry Pi 0W. So let me just quickly uh, take you through all the codes and the modifications and the customizations that you can make to get your own remote done. So this is the project kit uh, that I have created for creating your own uh, remote using Raspberry Pi 0W and the Pi Maroni button chip. So this is the main 
python program and i, I have also given you scripts for uh, installing the service and also starting the service so uh, you can find the service installer here and you can find the service file here so if you take a look at this piece of line uh, which says a uh, device is equal to pi chromecast dot get underscore uh, chromecast this is what actually gets the list of uh, devices that are online and this this process takes a bit of time so that is why uh, i have placed it right at the start of the script say if you want uh, active device monitoring just copy this or copy and cut this paste it within the while loop but uh, one of the major disadvantages of this being in the while loop is this process takes a bit of time and if you place it within the while loop you will have a delay uh, between your devices responding to your button press so first uh, it will check the list of devices and if the list of devices is not empty then it will proceed to check the number of devices that are online so by default um, maximum i have set the number of devices to two you can just uh, keep adding on to it by using different logics for uh, switching between the devices so right now i have uh, added a logic for switching be between the devices by pressing and holding the a button say if you want to add more devices just uh, do something similar to that with uh, different other buttons so if you have both these uh, declared devices online this is the loop that it goes into and if you have uh, just one of the device online and it goes into this loop to check for the device characteristics okay so that is pretty much it there is nothing much that you can hack around uh, with the script and as uh, outlined in the steps given in the readme see if you follow all these uh, steps in a procedural manner you should have this uh, DIY remote up and running in a matter of minutes so you can uh, run this in Raspbian Lite or the Raspbian desktop version whichever you prefer to but I would uh, suggest you to use the Lite a version that will be less taxing on the uh, Pi Zero W okay so that is pretty much it I hope you like this project and see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye